So one has to be aware that the expeditions that we will conduct, they are very much unique. We will sample the unsampled, we will visit and we will study ecosystems that nobody has really studied and sampled before. So over the four next years, EPFL will travel around the globe to study glacier fed streams. Particularly, we are interested to understand the microbial life in these glacier fed streams and along the following points. We want to understand what are the ecological strategies that the microorganisms have developed in these streams to do well in an ecosystem or in an environment that is extreme and that is harsh. Next, we also try to um, go back a little bit in time and we want to understand how the microbial life in these streams may have looked like thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years ago in the aftermath of the Ice Age, for instance, when these glacier fed streams were way more common. On the other hand, we also want to look into the future. We want to make predictions on how that microbial life will look like as the glaciers go on vanishing so that we are able to make predictions on how these streams will change once there are no more glaciers. Well, the reason why we want to do this globally or the reason why we want to travel around the globe is to be able to study many, many different glacier fed streams in different locations of the globe. And the reason for this is we hope to find something that we like to call a common denominator. So we will take to Switzerland genetic material that is very unique and precious. So we will start working on that material ourselves and then we will archive in a biobank with the EPFL in Switzerland um, this material that we will make available for future generations of scientists but also to future generations of technology. We also want to make that material available to the bioprospectation uh, for drug discovery and further application in biotechnology, for instance.